and welcome to a new video review for Transformers Titans Return here on Starlight D and today I'm gonna show you Terrible from the Titan Masters class but before we look at the figure um, we take a short look at the packaging and um, it's the typical generic um, packaging style for the Titan Masters with Fortress Maximus set um, here and um, text and pictures on the back um, the only thing that's different from the other Titan Masters is a shot um, CGI rendered um, for, for of his head mode and also um, the writing terrible. Um, he was better known in Generation 1 with his old name Horrible. He was a headmaster and he had a beast-like uh, alternate mode. Um, so um, also Crash Bash had an um, animal like uh, vehicle mode or uh, alternative mode and um, instead of a robotic animal horrible comes with a tank um, unlike uh, Crash Bash did with his um, bird like uh, and uh, T-Rex uh, like uh, add-on thing so um, the idea of giving him a tank, I mean, okay, um, a tank suits the character itself, um, may write good, but um, I would have preferred an animal like, uh, maybe they had, that could give him um, some sort of um, bull or something else um, or rhinoceros. Just my opinion, um, but we take a look at the figure itself. I think he looks pretty neat. Um, he's mostly blue and gray, yellow face. I try to zoom in on the face. Yeah, it works. Okay. Um, I think this face is okay. Um, I like the head sculpt. Um, the gray is pretty neat besides the uh, darker blue. Has some slight metallic look to it I think um, some neat details and um, here we see oh, I transform into head mode so you can see how it looks as a head for a robot and that's the head mode um, looks pretty cool in my opinion I really like um, the faceplate the red eyes, also um, the head design looks very G1-ish, um, but in an updated and modern way. And that's what I really like about um, reconcepting the old figures for today. And um, that came out pretty good in my opinion. Um, he has a ball jointed head ball jointed shoulders and also movable legs. The legs are together, they cannot be uh, moved separately but um, it's okay, it doesn't bother me. Um, he also can sit in his tank. If you look close, here in the tank are two pins and under the feet of the Titan Master are two pack holes so you can pack him insecurely sits pretty well and um, looks looks okay I think the blue of the um, tank is the same blue as on the figure so um, that fits pretty well um, also uh, noticeable is that the guns are movable and also detachable and I think this could be the same size as the C port um, weapons from um, Generations and uh, what was the other line called? Hunt, uh, Reveal the shield. Um, so I think or I guess um, you can um, put these away and um, put on other weapons uh, from the named lines. Um, pretty cool idea, I guess. Um, 
as I said, tank mode, lo tank mode looks okay. I would have preferred black uh, threads here. Um, looks a bit too boring, um, just everything in blue. Um, the only difference is um, this part here, which comes in the same color as the head mode's face mask. Um, it's okay, in my opinion. Um, then there is a second mode. For this, we flip out the wings, unfold the cockpit, and now you will go around and move the arms to the robot. And now slot the figure in like this. Um, there is no um, point that um, keeps it in place uh, like uh, a part or something. Um, it just lays in there but um, holds very well. Um, it doesn't fall out if you turn it around. Um, so that's okay. And um, here is a tiny little slot where the this part of the tight master fits in. Pretty okay, in my opinion. Um, looks like a pretty um, bulky uh, jet with two large cannons at the underside. Um, in my opinion, um, the tank mode is far better than this mode. Um, also, um, there is a third mode, a weapon mode for larger figures. For this, you will flip the wings back in. And now you go around and try to flip out this part. Um, it's very difficult. It's very stiff on mine. Um, so, I have no tool here to try to flip it out. Um, okay, imagine... Um, this part is flipped out, so you can uh, put it in a larger figure of sand and use it as a gun. Um, this mode is okay, I guess. Um, I would have preferred if the web mode would be more like this and um, this part would flip out um, and move down, so the bot a Decepticon could hold it uh, like this. I hope it's understandable um, as I show this. Um, I think it would have come out far better than um, than this kind of gun, which looks more like um, someone holding a vehicle in his hand. Um, but um, the for me, the um, inter most interesting part of the Titan Master class is, of course, the Titan Master itself. And I think he's pretty good. I really like the head mode. And I'm um, really looking forward to put him on bigger figures. Um, for now, um, I'm awaiting a package with um, Leader Class, Optimus Prime and Blaster. I hope they will arrive um, this week. And... Um, I'm totally curious of how the headmasters will look on other figures. Um, and I have the other two headmasters which I have shown you in the review. If you haven't seen it yet, um, feel free. I will um, post um, the playlist over here where you can watch all the other Titans to return figure reviews. And um, I would also like to invite you to um, leave a subscription um, click our logo below um, also stay tuned um, I think more reviews will come this week so I hope to see you again and I wish you a nice evening till the next time mm -hmm.